What's up, Gemini Gang? What's happening, y'all? So, when I was shuffling for y'all, I kept seeing the tower. So, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but we shall see, shall we? All Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? If you need a personal reading, check out the description box. There are a couple of options there. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, y'all. Hit that subscribe. You are always appreciated for being here. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see what is going on, Gemini's, because uh, mm, a little nervous. We got flirt here. Mm -hmm. Okay, just starting off light. Now, when I meditated for you, I did kind of get this nervous feeling, but it wasn't, I, I wasn't feeling anything crazy. So we'll see. New love. Oh, the new love again. Some of you guys have somebody new or it's like something that just feels new. Like an old an old thing that feels new. Um, but yeah, lots of new love for you guys. <sighs> yeah, see, getting to know each other. And soulmate. But we got those pictures to the red flags here on the bottom. So we'll see what red flag spirit may have for us. Um, if that's even a thing. But we'll see. Okay, so soulmates, um, getting to know each other. So this could be either. It could be a new energy, past energy, past energy coming as a new energy. We shall see, Gemini's. We shall see. Okay, so we have the strength card. So some of you dealing with a Leo. Um, interesting. That's an interesting energy to go under the flirt. <coughs> nine of pentacles yeah a lot of you are single a lot of you are single i feel like too uh gemini's try not to if you are single and you're dating single and mingling try not to take it too seriously also some of you guys either you or someone in your energy is needing to work on their confidence level like someone is, is needing to get their confidence in check or someone isn't confident uh enough to talk to you uh gemini's something like that so we have the high priestess <laughs> king of swords mm -hmm. i usually don't take extras but spirit is telling me to take that one and y'all know sometimes i will it just really depends on how i'm feeling and if spirit is is wanting me to take it so um interesting usually when i see a king with like the high priestess or a king with the um with the empress or something like that it, it gives me a vibe of like a very confident person that may feel a little bit um inferior to you uh gemini's or vice versa okay whoever is coming up as the high priestess i feel like someone sees you as this high priestess um and it could be um the person seeing you this way and usually the high priestess is like the unattainable one so you know Gemini's you may intimidate someone even if you don't intentionally do it and even if you if you're like I'm not intimidating at all you know um you intimidate this person especially if they're coming up as a king of swords the king of swords is rarely intimidated by anything anybody okay but there's something about you Gemini's that um now it doesn't it, it it makes it to where they can't stay away from you though this is like heavy communication someone wanting to talk to you Someone want to release some type of truth. Could be somebody at a distance from you. Um, Gemini's. Okay. But this could also be somebody coming in. Some of you may be meeting a soulmate uh, as well. But it's this person is going to be so, super different than you, Gemini's. I'm just going to let you know that now. Um, especially if you're this high priestess here. You might be like very spiritual, very tapped in, tuned in. Or you're getting there. Okay. Doesn't mean it's it's perfect. But you're dealing with someone that's extremely logical, okay? Now, the king of swords, he can be spiritual. He or she, take it how it resonates. can be spiritual, but it's more logic that comes from the king of swords uh, more than anything. So that could be why, too, this person may find, find it hard to figure you out. Someone feels like 
you're hard to to know or you're you're hard to figure out um gemini so don't be surprised if if i if i when i pull handwritten if if we see i don't know how to fix this please tell me how or tell me what you want because i feel like someone you know is it's kind of sees you as hard to read <laughs> and it's intimidating because usually uh you know there's that tower again <laughs> Okay, so we've seen the tower in every deck so far. Um, I feel like this person is kind of used to things being cut and dry, Gemini, and you're not cut and dry. Not saying you're you're complicated, but there's more to you. Uh, so we're dealing with Aquarius because this tower card fell, and I'm seeing the star card here. Um, and then we have the King of Swords here as well. So some of you dealing with Aquarius could be a Pisces. Um, so yeah, Gemini, I feel like you're not someone is having a hard time figuring you out in a nutshell and that makes sense too with the high priestess and getting to know each other yeah okay thank you spirit so that makes sense um yeah there's there's layers to you gemini's for sure three of pentacles yeah somebody's gonna be communicating talking to you it's, it's like someone had to get the strength or get the courage to talk to you five of pentacles could be someone you left behind or someone that's kind of feeling like um, you're losing interest in them, Gemini's. Yep, see, there we go. There's that Empress card. <laughs> um, Gemini's, I love the way that you are coming off to people. The fool here on the bottom. Yeah. Um, I love this. It's, it's almost as if someone sees you as, yeah, well, someone kind of sees you as out of their league. <laughs> even if it's a new energy now i do love that the empress is here under new love because again it could be a new energy coming in or someone just coming in new newly new in a new way especially with the full car like starting from ground zero it could be a libra or a taurus gemini's but i feel like a lot of you guys aren't going to be <clears throat> you're you're not going to be um single longer much longer uh Gemini's nine of pentacle yeah yeah you mm. <sighs> the king of swords again so again I'm not sure if this is you or if this is someone in your energy but it's like <sighs> someone's not sure if you want to be single or if you want to be in a relationship <clears throat> something along the lines of that Gemini's but again the thing it, it's there's a lot of cards here of Physical attractiveness, um, a great vibe, a great aura, a great aura. I'm getting choked up. So, yeah, I'm saying some stuff that they may be having a hard time saying. Um, but someone feels like it's what's heavy coming out in the spread is someone feeling like you are out of their league, Gemini's. Because, look, the Nine of Pentacles is, is a very attractive card. In almost every deck, you're going to see the Nine of Pentacles very attractive, wearing, you know, uh fine clothes designer you know again take it how it resonates okay um even with this this one is a lot more uh elaborate though the the right away is always going to be a lot more elaborate the nine of pentacles but the nine of pentacles is very attractive especially with the empress here you may be meeting someone that's super attractive you find this person very attractive or this person is just super attracted to you then the high priestess with the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is already a shining star by his or herself but with the high priestess with that unattainable energy i feel like someone feels like you are out of their 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 league you're hard to read um now i feel like they're determined to do so they're gonna they're gonna still attempt to do this because they know that you're a catch and this person's not just gonna let you go all willy-nilly so keep that in mind okay even if it, they come off a little cold um like i said come up heavy as the king of swords even if even if they come off a little cold gemini this person is not just going to give up on this connection because they know that you are a catch you're a vibe gemini and they know that you're good on your own but you want a connection you know it's a difference between needing someone and wanting them um gemini heavy energy of like very high attractiveness here um and i feel like y'all were like i said the fool again we're we're coming into y'all keep in mind actually i'm gonna look i'm gonna look it up and see wait i mean i have my phone so i may not be able to look it up but i'm gonna look it up and see 
when Jupiter is going into Gemini because when that happens, Gemini is it's going to be automatic. You're going to be a lot of you're going to be very attractive to people, even when you're not trying. Um, that Sun Jupiter uh, energy is going to be insane. Uh, so also check your charts too. But yeah, uh, especially if you're a Gemini Sun or a Gemini Venus or something like that. When Jupiter goes to Gemini, it's going to be uh, crazy. <laughs> it's going to be crazy for you. We have uh, the chariots because right now it's in Taurus. So, you know, right now Taurus got the juice. But hang tight. <laughs> so we have like a mm, child. somebody determined to make this work with you. Whoever this is, baby, is determined to make this work. Three of Wands again on the bottom. So we're seeing this twice. Someone's wanting to move things to the next level with you, uh, Gemini's. Someone could have also been, or you're waiting on someone. Uh, someone's waiting on you. Um, but yeah, this could also be someone at a distance from you. Or just someone that just seems distant. Because like I said, this person sees you as out of their league, uh, Gemini's. Like I said, it doesn't mean that... They're not going to attempt to talk to you or be with you or whatever. But, you know, you have to understand that, um, you know, sometimes when people feel like someone's out of their league, they're very cautious. And I'm kind of getting uh, this person being once cautious, cautious and then kind of picking up speed. Or this is two different people because this is a, this is a slow energy. This is a more uh, abrupt energy. So, like I said, take it how it resonates. Page of Wands, yeah, you are going to hear from someone. Like I said, I'm not sure who's who and what's what. Okay, y'all going to have to determine that. This is a slower moving energy. So it could go from slow to a quicker energy. Because this is a very fast energy over here. Um, especially when it comes to communication here. Because the King of Swords will communicate. Okay, if the King of Swords do anything, the King of Swords will communicate. <laughs> And I feel like in general, like take take the, the people out of it, like your person out of it or, you know, their options. You're just going to be very, very uh, appealing to people, uh, Gemini's. Like there's something switching in your energy. You're going to be very, very appealing to people. Um, there's that Ten of Pentacles. And I just saw this. The Ten of Pentacles. One of my favorite cards. Oh, child. Now, see, I was just thinking about that King of Cups. The Tower, <laughs> the King of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Page of Swords. So this is has me feeling like somebody is uh, wanting to express or or open up to you in some way. Eight of Wands here, Six of Wands as well. Yeah, somebody wanting to open up, wanting to say something to you. Somebody wants a family, Gemini's. And like I said, this new energy wants to tie you down, child. <laughs> New energy wants to lock you down. So just be um, be cautious of that, uh, Gemini's. The death card. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Gemini's. Somebody wants to change your life. I'm seeing the Eight of Wands. Or someone sees you as you changing them. Like you're, you're going to, you coming into their life is going to change their life. Um. Uh, Gemini's now here's what's interesting about the death card okay the death card can be um as far as attraction goes it can be a very intense attraction it's like feel think about think about how you feel when you have a near-death experience right or think about when you feel what you feel when you are um like when you when you feel like your life is flashing before your eyes, I feel like, oh, and this this car kind of looks like that a little bit. Like your life flashing before your eyes. I never noticed that. Interesting. Yeah, so think about how you feel during that time. And I feel like you you kind of bring a, a feeling that this person's never felt before, uh, Gemini's. It, it's, it almost feels like this person is falling. <laughs> they say falling in love. Or surrendering in love, rising in love, or whatever the case may be. But uh, I feel like this person is is kind of feeling like they are uh, losing themselves. But 
uh, themselves, I feel like, needed to go in order to have a, a healthy connection. You know, parts of you have to go, um, Gemini. So I feel like you're kind of uh, encouraging, I won't say force necessarily, but you're encouraging growth in a person. You're uh, encouraging transformation in somebody. Powerful, powerful. I also get to that somebody doesn't want to be single anymore, and I feel like you won't be, Gemini's. You're you're not going to be on the market much longer. I'm going to tell you that now. Ace of Pentacle. Oh yeah, somebody's coming in with that offer. <gasps> Didn't these cards just come out? I don't think it was a hangman, but the Tower, the King of Cups. I told you somebody's going to like declare their love or um, Four of Cups here on the bottom. Somebody you could have lost interest in uh gemini's but yeah um i'm <laughs> it, it's it's looking very strongly that now looking at the spread i don't really see anything necessarily emotional um now through the cards i do do the spread not really i feel like whoever this is is solid stable they want something solid stable with you i feel like this could be the end of your singlehood too uh gemini's you getting to know someone um, and you not being single anymore. Heavy, heavy vibes of this. Uh, so, somebody's coming to lock you in, uh, Gemini's. Take you off the market. Oh, yes. All right. So, let's split the deck and see what's here. Um, I'm tired of being alone. See, this is what I get with this. Like, someone not wanting to be single anymore. Um... You won't be, Gemini's. I feel like you're going to, like, go to the next level. Something's about to go to the next level. I cry over you, so, mm, I don't know. Maybe that's a past energy. I'm not seeing any of that in the spread at all whatsoever. So, we shall see what these handwritten are talking about. <laughs> so, you just see 222 now in the read. So, yeah. That's your confirmation, Gemini's. I needed time to figure things out. So this could be like somebody spinning the block back um, to make things official. Secret crush. Mm -hmm. I kind of get that vibe with the high priestess too. Ooh, okay. I'm all alone. See, more lonely energy here. I'm about to call slash text you. See, that one's popping up all the time again. I can't take the silence anymore. My goodness, uh, Gemini's. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Really? One, one, one. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm sorry for how I acted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nobody feels as good as you do. Well then. Five, five, five. Lots of numbers. What is that? We will be together again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't feel good enough for you. Mm -hmm. See, it was I was talking about the whole reading. The whole reading was about this. I told you. I told you, Gemini's, this person doesn't feel like they're on your level. Okay? So, even if that's not true, okay, that's just that's how it comes out, okay? Missing you by case. Please forgive me. All right, Gemini's, hit those likes, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.